Ben Carson is speaking out after a report surfaced which questioned his story about getting a full scholarship to West Point Military Academy. Politico released a report this morning saying Carson's statements were false about the scholarship in his memoir. In his book, Carson wrote that he did not he dined rather with a general, General Westmoreland, and was immediately offered a full uh, ride scholarship. But West Point officials confirmed that there is no record of Carson ever applying to the elite military academy and that they don't even offer full scholarships. Carson's campaign responded to the report today, saying that Politico's handling of the story was, quote, irresponsible and a downright lie. Now, in the latest GOP polls, Carson has been neck and neck with candidate Donald Trump. And here this afternoon to talk about what this could mean for the campaign, political analyst John Dady. And good to see you as always, Crazy. John. All right, so this is a major bump in the Carson campaign so far. And um, wow, I mean, people are questioning his credibility, uh, making up his personal history. How can this affect him as a political candidate? Oh, well, certainly possibly could affect him. But again, it's not an unexpected bump because anybody who runs for office for the first time, especially when they're first time they're running for the highest office, Office, there's going to be things that are going to come out. Any campaign, especially on the national level, the first thing that you should do, and I don't know if his campaign has done it, is you get a private investigator to do the opposite of research on yourself. I don't know if they've done that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that, that I found interesting is that he claims that he was offered the scholarship to West Point by General Westmoreland at a dinner, at an ROTC awards dinner in Detroit. Uh, He's now saying that it was an informal offer, and he said that's probably what he should have said in the book, that it wasn't a firm offer from West Point itself. It was an informal offer. And again, the, here's the difference between when we see a lot of politicians embellish, and I'm being polite here, of course. The difference is normally when they say something verbally, then they have to correct it. When you put it in a book, where were the book editors? Where was his staff, et cetera? Once it's in a book, it's in concrete. So that's really uh, what surprised me. You folks have heard me use this line many times. When you're an aide, as I have been, to either elected officials or candidates, the first line you learn on the job is what the boss meant to say was, <laughs> and that's what his staff is doing this evening. Uh -huh. And it's not only the possibility that he lied about the uh, scholarship, but they're also calling into uh, question his stories about his upbringing and some of the violence that he has uh, talked about in his book uh, in relation to his mother. Talk and, about that. And here's there's something else that I personally don't understand in the sense of when you say that you were appointed at West Point, if you're not telling the truth, clearly the reason you're saying that is that you want people to think something good about you. Why would you say that I stabbed somebody, that I hit my mother in the head with a hammer, etc.? You know, if your opponents bring that out and you did do it, yeah, maybe you got to admit it. But why did he come forward and say that? That's, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, yeah. During this news conference this afternoon, on scene, CNN, I might add, uh, Carson, you know, uh, he seemed very agitated at the media, and he even at one point said that he didn't remember this kind of scrutiny when uh, Barack Obama ran for president. Is that a fair assessment? I don't think so. I think uh, Barack Obama absolutely was under scrutiny. And again, it's unfair to compare people. But look, uh, I, I hate to bring up the name Hillary Clinton, but look how many fibs she told about being shot in Bosnia and, and all these things that turned out not to be true. And that hasn't hurt her. She's up. So I don't see this as hurting them. I will tell you where I got my laugh for the day. Uh, at 5 o'clock, I'm an early riser. I saw a live interview on one of the networks with Donald Trump. And he was blasting the website Politico on things that they said about him. And he literally said, they're not credible. They're worthless, et cetera. This afternoon, I heard him saying, it was great Politico broke it about Ben Carson. And Politico's great, et cetera. So D Donald Trump's flowing with the wind on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All that right. Well, for once, the spotlight is not on Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump. Uh, uh, yeah, Ben Carson, like I said, it's rookie mistake. Does it help the candidate in the long run, though? I don't think it hurts him. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it hurts him. So far, everything that we've heard—the the violent history, the the West Point—I uh, consider those minor bumps. Okay. Thank you, John Dadian. Yeah. Great yeah. to see you as see always. You. All right.